What's up, everybody? We back with another message, another video. Thank you to all my new subscribers and future new subscribers. You know we do nothing here without God because everything is spiritually led by God over here. We cover the world from a spiritual and physical aspect to get the raw, real, and uncut answer. So anything you hear, anything you see, may you test the spirits, a.k.a. take the words back to God in prayer because it's very, very, very important that you do, especially right now. Okay, so I'm just going to jump into these dreams. March 15th, God woke me up at the first dream. He woke me up at like five in the morning. The second one, he woke me up at nine. So the first one was in this dream. I was like in this hotel room. You know how you can see like a view outside and look at the city. That's what he showed me. And um, so I was looking out this window in this hotel room and all I could see was banks shutting down all over the place. And people were panicking and running all over the place, panicking and running. And it was like it was money on fire everywhere and banks on fire. And I heard God say, tell them and warn them to prepare then I got woken up in like the strangest way. I felt like this burning, slight burning sensation. It didn't hurt me, but it woke me up. It was enough to get me to wake up so that I could record that down. So that was the first dream. The second dream, I was in this class. And we were, I had passed this math test, right? Um, and God likes to refer back to things that he can really connect me with because Again, me going to college and, you know, really understanding things, just being good at school in general, like he uses that to connect to me. So as we were going over this test, there was so much distraction and there were two different teachers. His first teacher was a celebrity. OK, essentially a very known figure. And this person was stirring up so much, causing so much like distraction because they caught people sleeping and instead of going over the test, they took people's attention away from the test. So it was so annoying. And so, I again, like this is the second time I saw people sleeping in my dream, but I saw people sleeping in the class. And, you know, I'm thinking, people wake up. What are y'all sleeping for? So I tried my hardest to tell this, this teacher, this known figure, you know, to move on and go over the test. Then in the second part of the test or in the dream, um, the teacher switch, which was one of my old bosses from UPS. Right. Um, and in this dream, he basically, but UPS being a government job, God was letting me know, okay, this is about like the government. This is Biden government leadership, government, you know, um, leadership. And so the teacher didn't have enough copies of the test um, on the part that he made an error on. And we knew on the test, me and this other guy knew on the test that we got it correct. Um, in a dream in my head, in the spirit, I felt correlation to the banks. Like I was saying, this is ridiculous. This is about the banks, right? Um, so he said he was going to run out and get more copies. But we told him, no, no, we don't have time for this. Just go over the test. Right. Um, so it's like he was stalling. So this is what God told me. The test symbolized pass or fail. Many are going to pass and many are going to fail. He told us my Archangel Michael told us before and that message that many are going to pass and fail the test coming. Many people will be asleep in this hour or distracted. Now is not the time. He says, not enough copies of paper equal money. So, you know, paper, the test we take had, you know, paper. So not enough uh, money. And that's why these banks be shutting down. People don't have access to this knowledge. So not enough pieces of copies of the test, meaning not enough knowledge being spread around. Lack of knowledge. And of course, my old boss equals a leader of government job, like because he worked at UPS, right? Um, but he gave the wrong answer. So that means Biden, you know how he's telling people not to worry. I, God told me about him. 
y'all don't listen to these people. Don't don't do it. God is telling me this strongly in his dream. Uh, leadership gives the wrong answers. Don't let the blind, confused, and Decepticons mislead you. We got the answer right, but they will have the wrong one. Regulators, Joe Biden, all these people of the world. Um, and then he was saying correlation to banks. Then in his next part of the dream, there was this church. And I've seen people from my past and I've seen people from uh, that I never knew. And, you know, it reminded me of this church was definitely filled with religious spirits and that, you know, they wouldn't have the spirit of God. And I felt that. And so as this church was going on, it was this guy that was trying to like pair up and team up with me and these teams. Now, I also looked up at the sky because it was a lot of chaoticness going on after this church service. And it reminded me of the dream that I had about the great tribulation and how, uh, it was just the sky was like dark red and it was just chaos going on. But this wasn't actually the great tribulation. This was more God explaining to me leading up to this, leading up to that point, what is going to happen with chaos in the church and religious spirits. So God connected me to when um, a memory with Biden, how he supported these uh, atheist churches and stuff like that and Satanism, you know, all this stuff going on. And in this hour with these banks, how this correlates is with the digital money. If you support God, if you love God, then the world going to be against you and they're going to really control what you do and cut you off. This is why he's telling me it's important for you to get out this worldly system. He's been giving me a lot of messages on your own opportunities instead of nine to fives. And so he is letting me know and reminding me that to tell y'all that, you know, the world is going to be against you and they don't cut your money off if you support him. So God has to make a way of increase for you outside of this, which is crypto. And many people, this leads to people, the confused, the blind, that'll tell you crypto is a scam, crypto this, crypto that, you know. But really, that's where God going to be able to control in the way he needs mass amounts of people to receive. So... For those that only get into this uh, because of holding on to their wealth instead of loving God, they're they going to get messed up in this hour, okay? And only the faithful to God, the, one that's, the ones that's been faithful to God this whole time is going to be able to receive properly if they follow instructions. Um, so this dream is just very urgent. Uh, make sure you test the spirits heavily. Go into prayer seriously on your own with your own personal situations because everybody's situation is different. Um, this dream was definitely intense, but you know this is what he told me, and I've been getting a lot of warning signs from animals, like it was birds going crazy. Which I'm gonna upload that video later so y'all can he actually hear it, well hear parts of it. Um, but it's a lot of warning signs going around that something big is coming. So um, thank y'all for listening to this message and peace and blessings. And I will catch y'all. Oh, yeah. Remember that God is not the spirit of fear, author of confusion. So if you do have a whole God in your heart, you going to be OK if you be obedient and follow the instructions. OK, so you don't have nothing to worry about as long as you are following instructions and receiving knowledge from him. Pay attention to your dreams, how he communicates with you, because I'm telling y'all that's very important. He's been telling me to tell y'all that. But thank y'all for listening, and peace and blessings, and I'll catch y'all in the next. Oh, wait. I forgot one part. Um, When it came to the stranger in the dream, um, when it came to the church, I, the, it was this guy that wanted to team up with me. And in the first part of the dream, I said no. For some reason and went with the people from my past teamed up with the people from my past but see the people from the past were blinded and the people that or the person that i didn't know wasn't because that same person was in the next dream we both had the same answer that was right on the test while the leadership had it wrong so in this hour god is pulling you away from people who you don't belong around that's going to cause you to slip up or fall away from the truth 
okay? I almost forgot that part. He's teaming you with people who are going to seek the truth and leading you to people, okay, that are going to give you or do have the knowledge that most people don't. So that's it, okay, y'all. Peace and blessings, and I will catch y'all in the next one. Out of luck and now it's my time Ain't no looking back, I'm on the right track